From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, December 23rd, 2015. And in the news, it was a good year for tourism in Fairbanks, according to a release from Explore Fairbanks and the Fairbanks Visitors Bureau. Highlights included the hosting of 23 press tours, the Iditarod restart in Fairbanks, and record visitors to the Morris Thompson Center. 2016 already looks encouraging thanks to important native conferences coming to town. Speaking of a healthy visitor industry, Uzbekistan Airways is among the latest companies planning on touching down in Fairbanks to test out the town's tourism market. The airliner will fly three charter trips between the Golden Heart City and Japan through the end of the year. Each charter will transport around 180 passengers to Fairbanks International Airport, who will then sightsee throughout the interior for three days. Explore Fairbanks executives say Japan is becoming a large market for winter travel in Alaska. And the Santa Claus house in North Pole has been packed full of hopeful children waiting to see that right jolly old elf himself. The Santa Claus house gets visited by thousands of children each holiday season, averaging 400 to 500 kids per day. If you plan on taking your little one to visit Mr. Claus, be prepared for the wait. Visitors are waiting up to three hours to see Santa, and he's available until 4 p.m. Christmas Eve. Quick look at the weather today. It's cloudy with flurries or light snow, maybe about an inch, highs five above to five below. Tonight, light snow or flurries with some clearing overnight, another inch possible and colder with lows at minus 15 to minus 30. Then Christmas Eve, a few flurries in the morning, otherwise becoming mostly clear and temperatures holding steady at 15 to 30 below. But the extended outlook, bit of a Christmas gift as temperatures should warm back up Thursday night, giving us a high right around zero on Friday. 10 above for the weekend, mid-teens above early next week with variable clouds through the period. Air index good in Fairbanks and North Pole and the Aurora forecast is low. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And don't forget, you can sign up for breaking news text alerts. We'll use them whenever we need them. Just text the word breaking to 33733. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.